The most frequently asked questions I see either on YouTube comments or Discord are, what's the best programming language? Or what's the best programming language to learn first as a beginner? I like to say asking what the best programming language is is like asking what's the best tool to build a house? It depends. Just as a hammer and a saw are used for different things, different languages excel better depending on the application they're being applied to. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that there's a difference between learning a programming language and software engineering. Like if I gave you a hammer and some lumber, you wouldn't be able to just go build a house. Just because you learn a programming language doesn't mean you're gonna be able to architect complex software. Things like writing your code efficiently, making it more readable so if another programmer picks it up, they'll understand what's going on. These are things that come with practice, things from looking at other people's code. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's not just about learning the language, but also how to use it properly. So what is the best programming language? Well, this answer is gonna vary depending on what sector of software development you wanna get into, whether it be building games or you know developing mobile applications. If you're starting out, it doesn't really matter. You're, you know, you don't even know if you're gonna like programming. It's best to just get your feet wet with any popular programming language and go from there. But I know it can be confusing. There are so many different languages out there. You wanna make sure that you're using your time efficiently. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some guidance and some comparisons on what I recommend based on your goals. All right, let's run the intro. Before we jump into the video, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit the like button. It does help the channel in a massive, massive way. Also, feel free to join the Keep On Coding Discord server. It's totally free and you can connect with other developers and ask questions. So if I started over, what language would I start with? Uh, there are a couple in mind here. The first one is going to be PHP, the number one language. Okay, just kidding guys, it's definitely not PHP. The number one language I would recommend is Python. Python is one of the most widely used and versatile languages out there. You can do a lot with a little amount of code. There are numerous powerful libraries you just import into your program and start using. So the language itself is powerful. It's super high in demand in the industry. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, if you're ever doing an interview, you're at a huge advantage because like I said, you can do a lot of stuff with a little amount of code. So that's gonna save you a lot of time over a language that's very verbose. And that's why I recommend Python as the number one language to learn currently. Now this may change over time in a few years that there's always new languages that can pop up and become very popular. Um, but for currently in the foreseeable future, uh, that's what I would recommend. Now the number two language that I would recommend and speaking of verbose languages, it's gonna be Java. If you've been watching this channel for a while and you've been watching me for a while, you know that Java is my bread and butter. It's my number one. So I have to recommend it. And it's been one of the top languages out there for the past 20 years. It's what put object-oriented programming on the map where you model your code around real world objects. And although it has lost some steam over the past few years, it's still widely used and high in demand. And I don't see it fading away anytime soon. Now, Java and Python from a programmer's point of view are actually very similar syntactically. So it's very easy to switch from one language to the other. Uh, the main difference is what's under the hood. Uh, Java is a compiled language and Python is an interpreted language. Now, a language that's compiled first, what it does is it takes the program and it converts it all into binary, zeros and ones, and then it runs the program. Whereas an interpreted language is it does that uh, line by line. So it takes a line, converts it to binary, runs it. it. Takes the next line, converts it, runs it. So there are some performance advantages there. Um, that's a little bit outside of the scope of the video, but that is something to keep in mind and look into if you'd like. So let's talk about a couple other languages that I would recommend. These are a lot newer. I like to call them the cool kids on the block because they haven't been around for a while, but they've really taken off over the recent years. So the first one is going to be Rust. Now this is syntactically similar to C++, um, but it can guarantee memory safety, which C++, you have to actually manually manage your memory. So uh, it could lead to potential memory leaks. And according to the 2020 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, Rust was actually voted the most loved language, and it's not even close. And it's also the fifth most wanted language. There's also a really cool article on how Discord writes a lot of their code in Rust because uh, the garbage collector in Go was actually causing latency spikes in their app. And it's actually a really cool article. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna check it out. 
The second language is going to be Go. Now it's a statically typed compiled language developed by Google. On that Stack Overflow developer survey, it was voted the fifth most loved language and the third most wanted. So that's really just another language that you can't go wrong with. And I believe in three to five years, uh, it's just gonna be more popular than it is today. So let's say you have an idea of what you wanna do. Let's talk about what the best languages are. So say you know you wanna get into front-end web development. It's gonna be JavaScript. Simply put, JavaScript is what browsers run, and um, that's why it's the most popular programming language in the world. It was developed in like 10 days, so it is a fundamentally flawed language, which, which can make it a little bit wonky to work with but hey, that's just something you gotta deal with. You can also use it uh, with backend frameworks like uh, Node and Dino. So you can actually get away with having your entire tech stack in JavaScript. Now say you wanna get into mobile app development. The mobile app world is dominated by iOS and Android. So if you wanna develop apps for iOS, you're gonna wanna learn Swift, which is also developed by Apple. If you wanna learn how to build Android apps, you're gonna wanna learn Kotlin or Java. By the way, I do have a video uh, comparing those two languages if you want to check it out. Now, this is a little debatable, but if I were getting into mobile app development, I would actually look into the mobile app frameworks. These allow you to write all your code in one code base, and it actually deploys both to iOS and Android. So the first one is going to be Flutter, which is created by Google, and it uses a language called Dart, which is also developed by Google. And the other popular one is gonna be React Native, which is created by Facebook and it uses JavaScript. So if you already know JavaScript or if you already know React, uh, it should be a pretty easy framework to pick up. Finally, let's talk about game development because I know this is something that a lot of you want to get into. The two largest game engines are Unreal Engine and Unity. For Unreal, you're gonna to wanna to learn C++. For Unity, it supports a few languages, but C Sharp is the main one. So based on if you want to get into game development and which engine you prefer, uh, those would be the languages that I would go with. So the main takeaway for this video is that the best language is subjective and it really just depends on what industry you want to get into and what your goals are. And again, if you're just starting out, it doesn't really matter. You're just trying to see if you even like programming. And yes, some languages will be harder to pick up than others. Like C++ is for sure a harder language to learn than Python. In the long run, it really shouldn't affect you if you're passionate about programming and it's something you really want to get into. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, again, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit the like button. It does help the channel in a massive way. Again, uh, the Keep On Coding Discord, there's a link to that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on coding.